Fora TV. The world is thinking. If you had uh, engaged Hillary Clinton in conversation right now, what would you be advising her to do? Well, in this world of politics, there are some occasions when you find yourself in a situation where you can do absolutely nothing about it. No matter how talented you are, no matter how good you are on the policy issues, no matter how well financed you are, no matter how experienced you are, you might run into a buzzsaw that literally says no one listens to you anymore. As a matter of fact, they become annoyed because you're distracting them from their current thrill. Hillary is in that situation. The public is absolutely gaga over Barack Obama. They don't know why. <laughs> but they are. Because he hasn't said anything other than, uh, you know, hope and change. They don't have any idea. Yeah. But they are so enthralled and entertained in the magic of Oprah and all the other hoopla that surrounds him. The dialogue is not about what elects you anymore. The dialogue is about whether or not we join this brigade, we join this movement. He has literally removed uh, the problem associated with being black and running for president. He's being looked at as a qualified person who just happens to be black. Jackson was looked at as a black running for president. Right. Obama is not looked at as a black running for president. He looked at as a qualified guy running for president who happens to be black and he is doing it very well. So Hillary is unfortunately in that time warp. And then Hillary obviously has her own issues. She uh, assumed the role of the front runner, a la Giuliani, and a la a few other people who were there for a minute. Uh, but she stayed on the stage much longer than a minute. She'd been there for a long time. She has singularly the worst collection of campaign managers really? ever. That is the worst campaign I've ever seen. How do you not, she's worse than Al Gore was in his campaign operation. Neither of them, neither of them, Al Gore or Hillary Clinton wanted anything at the outset to do with Bill. Each of them didn't go to Bill until they were terminal, mm. uh, a near terminal. And, that, and, and her campaign was that way. How do you let Jim Carvel, who obviously knows how to run campaigns, and how to survive and get people to fight. How do you not have Jim Carville running her campaign? You got somebody whose name I don't even know running her campaign, which is a good sign that you got yeah. somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Mm. Well, she is in that category. How do you not have a strategy that goes in every place where there is a vote? Her campaign concluded early on uh, that they were gonna win this thing by the 5th of February and therefore they were gonna highlight here, highlight there, highlight there, get the numbers, and by the 5th of February, it, it would be over. They didn't need to worry about Texas and Florida. They didn't need to worry about Texas and Ohio and Pennsylvania and places like that. Obama's people, all the activist types that were like the Matt Gonzalez's against right. um, our mayor, or like Amiano write-in campaign against me, they were a movement. They're not about politics. That's a movement, and you can't address a movement with political action. And that's why she stands around, I will be ready and he won't, uh, I'm experienced and he isn't. Nobody's even listening. 